a guest on the live stream. Sitting next to me on my right is Miranda Cookson. She is an incredible violinist. She's gone around the world playing. Last night you heard her do Sam Adams' amazing chamber concerto. She's currently sporting a Georg Frederick Haas concerto around the world. And she is a member of the American Modern Opera Company, which is next year's Ojai Music uh, Music Directors. Music Director, Z, I guess, plural. Yes, uh, yeah. so happy to have you here. Oh, thanks for having me. So it's your first time in Ojai. Yes. What's it like first just to be here and be making music again? Oh, well, I mean, making music again is just like, it's just so, so fulfilling and exciting and, and overwhelming. Um, and being here is just, um, you know, I've, I've done a little bit of traveling, but I hadn't gone like across the country in this, this whole last year and a half. Um, so coming over here in this different environment and um, just taking in the landscape and these like misty mornings that then become this like bright sun-filled day. Um, it's incredible and taking in the atmosphere here with the people and the community is just like, it's great. They're like, everyone's so like curious and open, but also like seems really relaxed. And, right. One thing so special yeah. about Ojai, which I'm sure you found already, is the way you interact with the audience. It's unlike anywhere else because you're part of a very small town everyone's together and it's just really special I find. Mm -hmm. yeah. So first on the opening night you played Carlos Simon's Between Worlds. Right. Can you talk about this piece a little bit? Um, this piece is uh, uh, I find really special because it's like four minutes but he goes on a whole journey in this piece. Um, it's it's inspired by the artwork of Bill Trailer, who was a, a freed slave who had a very long life. I think he lived into his 90s, so he like saw this tremendous amount of history and change in the country. Um, so you kind of see, that's why it calls it Between Worlds. It's kind of like goes from yeah, slavery to liberation and like a rural life to urban life. And you sort of, it takes you through all these like different terrains and different experiences. <laughs> Um, so it's like really rich. In the, in the so city. cool. Yeah. One thing that's amazing about being here is one minute before going on, on air, Carlos walked up to us and met you for yeah, the first time in now. person yeah. after working together online, I assume? Uh, ki well, kind of, yeah. We had a Zoom, do Zoom uh, event. Uh -huh. for right. the I was there for the Zoom event, well, digitally, of course. Yeah, so, um, so I hadn't met him before that, but then we, you know, I played it and we talked some more about the piece, which was inspiring for me. And Yeah, it's yeah. so cool to be able to, even in, during the whole COVID-19 pandemic, be able to collaborate and still make music and, and find ways of communicating through the arts. Yeah. So last night, you played an absolutely epic, epic concerto by Samuel Adams called Chamber Concerto. Can you talk about this piece? Um, yeah, it's, well, it's a pretty major work in terms of it just... It's, it's like, like 40 minutes? I, I guess I was gonna say thirty something, but yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, but it's like five movements. Right. Um, and it's yeah, violin with uh, I guess you would say like large ensemble or something, but it says it has a real richness. I think he orchestrated it so beautifully, just his use of the instruments and how they how they work with each other. Um, so it has just wonderful colors and textures. Um, yeah, and uh, it's also kind of like the piece. He's sort of, to me, kind of evokes a lot of different kind of like landscapes or like states of mind. It's not like, it's not like some kind of narrative thing or anything. But, right. The uh, second movement was blistering. Oh my goodness, you were flying. <laughs> it was yeah, incredible. Yeah. So those two fast movements. <laughs> definitely. Yeah. The notes get, yeah, get going. Can you talk about you know the rehearsal process for this piece? Because I mean, it's a 40-minute epic work. You just came here last week, right? You just came in here. Yeah, I arrived. How does it come together? Yeah, it was very quick. Um, uh, first rehearsal was like we just read it down. Wow. And um, so, of course, like there, there were rocky moments and, and uh, sort of struggles to hear some things. And um, But we read it down and everybody sort of absorbed it. And of course, it being an ace band, um, it was already like transformed at the second rehearsal, I would say. Of course. Um, I think we all just learned a lot from that first rehearsal and, and um, were able to, to just kind of like pinpoint certain things that we needed to like right. take care of um, and start to grasp what was going on and what we all needed to do. Um, so I was thrilled actually at the second, second rehearsal. I was like, oh, this is, this is going to be- It's clicking, it's clicking. Yeah, yeah. It's that, 
So at the helm, conducting you was this year's director, John Adams. Can you talk about <coughs> working with him? Um, it was uh, a lot of fun. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, it was lovely, actually. He, he, you know, at first, like, we actually had a kind of a se session just us where I played it through, and, and he kind of conducted through, and he was he was very relaxed, and, um, well, you know, there's there's also the element of it being his son's piece. Right. Too, so it was, like, kind of, like, um, there was a touching aspect to, to the whole, like, thing where he was always, like, checking with Sam and this sort of thing. Nice. But, um, yeah, yeah. Um, I th I think I think uh, we just kind of sort of were finding each other, you know, along the way. He's he's very I found him very easy to, to work with and uh, to play with. Right, I, I've yeah. heard because of obviously his affinity for new music and that he has a, a special way of just getting inside of the piece. Is that is that what you found too? Yeah, I mean he he seemed to be living right in it. Right. Um, and was also very um, on the one hand, you know. I mean, there are places in the piece where you need to be very super steady and all this right. sort of thing, but then he was also like really flexible and really like, um, it felt very fluid. And, so great. And so, yeah. so if you missed that performance on the live stream or weren't here live, all of our concerts get, get archived onto YouTube. So a week from now, you can go on there and check out that amazing performance if you did miss it. Another reason also to be here live is Miranda did an amazing concert today at 4.30 p.m. at the Zolk Theater. It was not streamed, but it was incredible. Another just tour de force of solo playing. Can you talk about what you played at, at, at Zolk Theater? Yeah, I played four pieces. Um, two of them are kind of substantial pieces with electronics. Um, but I, I started with a piece by Anthony Chung. I was a friend of mine uh, that's just acoustic solo violin. It's called Character Pieces. Um, the program is actually half Asian, and which I'm also half Asian. Me too? Maybe yes, I was going to ask. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so um, so Anthony's uh, Chinese-American, and then I played Dai Fujikura's. I love Dai's Kuros. music. Yeah. So that's a piece for viola and electronics, so I got to bring my viola here to Ojai. Um, and then, uh, then I did this uh, piece by Kaya Sariaho, which is called Fries. And that piece was uh, commissioned uh, to be played after the second Bach partita. Um, and I don't think it's like really stipulated, like it, sh it should be like a companion piece on a program, but it's, it kind of works. And so, so, so yeah, so Ara and I decided to have the first four movements, not do the Chacon this time, um, but the first four movements of the partita and then and then please, which is also with electronics. So, so cool. Yeah. So Miranda's gonna be back here in Ojai just eight months from now, because <laughs> she is a core member of the American Modern Opera Company, which is the 2022 music director of this festival. Can you talk about what is uh, the American Modern Opera Company first, and then what you guys are maybe thinking about programming next year? Yeah, so American Modern Opera Company is, um, a group of 17 artists uh, is an interdisciplinary group. So we have um, a number of instrumentalists, we have a bunch of uh, opera singers, several dancers, um, and a lot of people who kind of have other aspects of their practice, they write, they're, they're very involved in writing or visual art or, you know. Um, so it's a big blending of all these things. Um, was founded by Matthew O'Coin and Zach Winokur. Um, been going for a few years. So, um, yeah, so we're just really thrilled. And this whole idea of being like a collective director is really cool and exciting. Um, so, yeah, we're, we're like right in the thick of planning. But we have a number of uh, projects. Uh, that, some things that will be quite new, actually. Cool. Uh, might even be premiered here. We love premieres in Ojai. Yeah, so, so there's a few things like that. Um, and some larger pieces that are kind of dance theater like based um, that like our resident choreographers are kind of leading. Um, yeah, a lot of a lot of things are actually there's a lot that's not not definite yet. <laughs> cool. Well, thank you so much for joining us today on the live stream, and we look forward Pleasure. to seeing you in eight months back yeah. here, and maybe on the live stream again. We'll come back on and yeah. talk some more. <laughs> awesome. Thank you so.